What's up, y'all? It's CP, and today we're gonna be trying this self-heating instant pot. No, I keep calling it an instant pot. That's not what it's called. I make so many instant pot videos, I keep forgetting. It's called hot pot. <laughs> I saw at the Asian market prior so I like Red 29 and then I saw it again at H Mart and I was like all right this is the time to try it it is a beef self-heating hot pot bowl and so per these instructions you just add cold drinking water and there's pieces in here that apparently heat up the container it says uh, when you're doing it have your drinking water ready it doesn't say how much we're just supposed to fill it to the line, so I pulled some water already. Okay, so let's take off the sleeve. The little cap has this little hole for uh, some of the heat. We have our packet of pickled vegetables, our vermicelli noodles, spicy flavor hot pot seasoning, and our seasoned beef that's already fully cooked. So plastic container. Ooh, the heating pack. It's kind of like those hand warmers. So, switch chopsticks, spoon, napkin, and a little toothpick. Wow, this is really for like on the go. Oh my god, how cute is this little uh, cartoon they got? Detailed cooking instructions. Detailed cooking instructions. Detailed. Step one. Take out the upper white container and add vermicelli. Okay, so in order okay so you're supposed to do this in order so you have your little plastic container and then you're gonna add your vermicelli first pickled vegetables goes in next whoa it's like an assortment of like mushrooms and stuff so woo! So, nice little assortment of vegetables there bamboo shoot mushrooms potato seaweed our seasoned beef. Oof, oh, that has sauce in it. Whoopsies. <laughs> that is just a little. Oh, it smells pretty good, actually. Has hoisin sauce, sesame oil. You can definitely smell the, the sesame oil, like the garlic. Ooh, it smells very, very good. Mmm. It looks a little sus, but you know, we're here for the experience. Hot pot seasoning. Oh, there's a lot of Szechuan peppers in this. This is going to be hot. What flavor did I get? Get all that peppers in there. Show you what this looks like right now. See, so you got our hot oil from the sauce, peppers. Inside of this little container, there's a little line right here. So that's where we'll put our water. Okay, my noodles are sticking out. And then it says, Put it aside. And then we're gonna add cold water to the maximum fill line of the black container. Where's the max line? You're not supposed to put hot water. They make it very, very clear you do not add hot water in this. Where is the max line? Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess that, so there's like little rivets in here. Trivets? Rivets. Hmm. Little things that stick out. I wanna guess it's there. Cause I mean, in the picture, it kinda looks like that's what it says. Like right a little bit below that. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna go grab more water. I'm gonna take this drinking water. So that is a lot of water in there. So after we have our water, we take this heating packet. Okay, now what? Uh, uh, water after reactivation with heat pack is not drinkable. So, this is a heat pack. It's not hot now as you're holding it. As soon as you put it in the water, uh, it's a whole fast thing that has to happen. Oh god, it's tipping over. Um, oh, that's fine. And then we're gonna place this. Uh oh, I think that's too much water. Uh-oh, <laughs> that's too much water. Abort, 
Abort. We need. There's no line. Oh god, it's heating up. Uh oh. Ah. It started to bubble and steam as I went to go pour some out. I put like half of there. So let's see if I could put this back in here. Okay, that seems much better. Put the lid on. Oh, and the blood's upside down. <laughs> oh no, there's still so much water. I don't know what to do. <laughs> the water got. So I, I don't. Careful, there's, there's the water coming out. <laughs> yeah, tell. I needed an adult. <laughs> What'd you do? I I put too much water. It wasn't okay. clear where the water line was. Well, <laughs> 15 minutes, huh? Yeah. I feel like if you press it down all the way, though. It's supposed to be sealed, I think. Okay, yeah, you have to fasten the lid. <laughs> there was clearly not a line for that fill line. I put way too much water. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put this aside for 15 minutes and we'll come back. What time is it? If I didn't have to pour out water, I would have shown you like when I was going to go pour it over, like the little white heating pack like expanded and then all this like steam and bubbles started coming out of the water. <laughs> There's a line on the inside, it says. There is not. It's this line. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> If that's the line, oh my god. So you're supposed to fill it. Oh, to I see the arrow down. Wait, is that an arrow? It's right here. You can see it. Maximum line. And if you look oh, at the actual container, <laughs> there is an arrow. There's an arrow. Well, it's kind of dark, but there's an arrow at the very bottom. It's probably like a half it's an like inch. It's like half an inch. I put so much water. <laughs> there's still so much water in there. I wonder if the water went into the sea. Uh oh. I have no idea. And hey, that's what it says. You shouldn't drink the water. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> if you open it and the, uh, obviously there's water in there, I don't think you should eat it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, in case we aren't able to eat that, let's take a look at the utensils they added to the little. So it comes with some tissue, just a toothpick. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is for chopsticks. So it's like little tops for your chopsticks. Yep. You just add this. Just add water. <laughs> you add water in the grill. This is cool. It looks like little lightsabers. Cute. Little spoon. Wow. Oh my goodness. Hmm, <sighs> doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> it smells like water. <laughs> Well, I guess I could say this is a what not to do. <laughs> Man. This is a disappointing 15 minute wait. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's really warm right now. It's hot on the sides. Top. Oh, man, this would have been really cool. All right, let's take a look-see here. Carefully take off this lid. Let's not burn myself because there's way water in here. Uh Ow, it's hot. <laughs> the sides are hot. Let's uh let's let's mix this up a little bit. It doesn't look like it's steaming. I see the water underneath. I just wonder if like cuz I didn't fill the water line this high when I put it, I think. Like it probably went up like half an inch or something. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, a lot. The smell is very very mild. Ooh, except for when you put it right at your nose. Woo! It's a little vinegary. Mmm. Water after reactivation with heat pack is not drinkable. Yeah, that's definitely the liquid. That's definitely the arrow for the line. So, after, uh... <laughs> 
I guess I could have looked on the outside of the container. I definitely searched inside the container so much for the fill line. I should have looked on the outside to see the fill line. I guess I couldn't even really tell. It's like super dark because like, you know, you could think something as important as a fill line would at least stick out in color. Oh, you mean the thing that points to the outside of it? I mean, that looks like it's just like, look at all the other illustrations. Oh, I don't know. It seems so, ow. But look at this illustration, like this picture makes it seem like there's hella water in there. This little line apparently is where you're supposed to fill it. I filled it all the way up here. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do this again. And my thing's not even boiling. I just hear the inside boiling. Like, this doesn't even look hot. Okay, it's a little warm. But I definitely shouldn't eat this, just in case. Because the little packaging from the heating thing says that even if you touch it, like after, like, you're not supposed to drink the water or like consume the water afterwards, like from the heating. And then if, if you get any like on your hands or whatever, you're supposed to like wash it with soap and water immediately because it could like irritate your skin. So I put way too much water. I just wonder if it's just like, yeah, don't drink that or eat that. But I mean like, I wonder if it's like a little bit. I don't know. I'm so defeated. <laughs> so sad. No one even puts pictures of the process online. Can you consume? Oh, oh my phone just died. <sighs> this is a failure. And I hope you don't make the same mistakes as me. Only put half an inch of water inside the black container. You do not need that much water as I did. So, all right. Bye guys. Sad girl. Okay, so just for reference, here's the container. Here's the fill line. It's not that much line. This is how much water I put in. And then when I poured it out, because I couldn't fit the thing in there, I only poured out to this much. So there was still way too much water in there. It's very unclear in this packaging. Until next time. Thank you.